So we all know that Disney loves to ruin its legacy by making horrible live action remakes, but now it looks like Disney is going after the anime industry. So for Bounty in the Comics, we have Disney plus Japan executive admits anime industry making a shift towards more acceptable expressions in order to appeal to wider audiences. In finally giving confirmation to the bitter truth that many fans of the medium already knew, Disney plus Japan boss Toku Yawata has admitted that the wider audience, the wider anime industry is actively attempting to change its core identity in an attempt to make the medium more appealing to global audiences, particularly those located in the Western world. Launching an anime-only streaming hub named Disney Plus Star in October 2021, the entertainment conglomerate has since outpaced some of their most established rivals in acquiring an impressive and popular catalog of exclusive content including Bleach Thousand Year Blood War, Reject Ranger which unfortunately was named Go Go Loser Ranger, Sandland the series, and the et entirety of the uh, Macross catalog. Now, I want to make this very clear. Um, I do, I'm, and I, I know Disney's not uh, completely responsible for making Bleach Thousand Year Blood War arc. I am very happy that they actually, finally, after what, like 10 years, they finally did the final arc of Bleach. But I don't like that it was Disney. No one was happy when Disney announced it was going to be on Disney as well as Hulu because who owned by Disney, but at least it was being made. However, when they announced that, along with like, I think it was, what was it? Summertime Rendering was another anime that's only on Disney and Hulu as well, which apparently was really good. I haven't watched it yet. Um, I'll be wearing a pirate hat when I do watch it eventually. There are some anime on Disney that a lot of people, myself included, do want to watch. I have watched part of the uh, Reject Ranger, um, Pirate Hat Involved, and it is good, but no one likes that Disney's involved. No one does. Because anyone, like I said, that knows about how Disney likes to ruin everything they touch, you can expect where this is going. Having overseen the service's continued growth since its inception, Yawada was extremely informed on the current state of the overall anime industry when he was asked about during an April 2024 interview with a Japanese news outlet, um, Man Mantan, Mantan Web. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not good with names. Asked for his thoughts on the fact that the general anime medium is no longer a niche one, with more and more fans finding themselves drawn to its unique offerings every day, the head of Disney Plus Japan opened, opined, opened as machine translated via DeepL. There is no doubt that we have undergone a very significant change over the past 10 years. Now, Jap uh, Japanese animation is entering a golden age. Now, I'm going to skip over a whole bunch of stuff because it's just a whole bunch of, like, just random talking bullshit, just lip service. But I'll have the full article in the description if you want to read all of it. I'm just going to go over the big points that he, he actually says. Because he says some very telling things. And he says the quiet parts out loud that I'm pretty sure Disney... At least Disney in America doesn't want to admit to. Now this is him as well. Uh, he says videograms, which for those who don't... Don't know what videograms are those are essentially like you know blu-ray dvds that stuff so videograms are still around today of course but distribution has become more common and the target audience is no longer limited to the domestic market he added the rise of distribution is why it has spread globally it is playing a very significant role as a communication tool for users around the world and I believe the ja that Japanese animation is still in the process of evolving. Their curiosity peaked by this by his mention of anime's acceptance on the global stage. Mantan Webb then asked Yawata, Japanese animation has a history of unique evolution that is not found anywhere else. There is even a kind of radicalized expression. When it comes to distribution to the world, 
is it necessary to change the style? This is when it gets really fucking telling about how this is going to go when it comes to any anime that Disney touches. This is when he says a quiet parse out loud. Pay attention. In turn, the ja- the in turn the Disney exec opened I don't think there has been a major shift. The fundamental storytelling and precision of the action, etc., has not changed. But there may be a shift towards adopting more acceptable expressions. He continues on. In order to be seen by many people, expressions that do not hurt or mislead people should be taken for granted. He continued. That is not a negative thing, but perhaps an evolution. When videograms were the focus, there was a tendency for only those who wanted to buy them to do so. But our awareness is changing because we now distribute to a larger market through a service that can be viewed at any time by adults and children alike. He just said that we have to evolve, change, in other words... PC censorship bullshit woke stupidity because before it was actual fans would buy like the Blu-rays, the DVDs and that stuff. That's where they got the majority of their money from. For those who don't know, a lot of these sales and all that stuff came from merchandise like let's say figures and clothing, anything involving like the brand of that anime. But as as well as the Blu-ray and the DVDs and stuff. But now that streaming is taking over, the Blu-rays and DVDs are not as popular at all, if we're being completely honest. So because of that, he has to, they kind of, he's admitting to censoring shit so that he's not offending retards who do not even watch the shit. That is one issue that a lot of people have with localization is, is they don't really change what is said in the anime they just change what the subtitles say to fit the retards of the world who don't really watch anything because they're stupid and have no money. But he, they're trying to play both sides. And it's not going to work for them. So he's admitting that Disney is going to start to censor shit like they kind of already have with Bleach on the Thousand Year Blood War arc. I believe there was one version where... There's a character um, who he's part of the Quincy girls, even though he's a dude. And then one character says, you smell like semen. And they censored that to have him say, you smell like a man or something. It's a small little censor, but that's like a, that's one part that you can see that. First of all, the original wasn't that offensive, especially because bleach is not meant for fucking children. Especially Thousand Year Blood War arc where people are getting cut in half and blood going everywhere. Very violent. But you can see if they're willing to censor that, wait till like the fan service stuff happens and all that shit happens. So it's 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 very telling about what they're actually admitting with this stuff. But it continues on a little bit further. And this is this is him going even deep. He's digging himself a deeper hole near the very end to this end Yawata took a moment to address the widespread uh, to address the widespread the concern many fans have held regarding Disney's motivation to acquire the exclusive global rights to big name franchises such as the aforementioned Bleach and Macross like I mentioned with Thousand Year Blood War we understand that Disney plus exclusive distribution of Japanese animation has uh, has been met with a certain amount of surprise he noted we are a distribution platform but we are also a member of the productions we distribute we want to contribute to the excitement of our productions not just stick to our own distribution such as tie-ins with movie versions like sand land the series Fuck the fuck the, lower, the the very end, you know, the tie-ins part. He just admitted they are in the writer's room. 
Disney is influencing the fucking anime. That right there was the biggest tell-all to this entire fucking article. That paragraph. We are a distribution platform, but we are also a member of the productions we distribute. That right there, nail in the coffin, admits that Disney is going to start to fucking censor full-on anime. They are going to start to put their retardation into anime and fuck it all up. This is not good. Anime is becoming the most popular it is today because it is not censored. Because there's not the woke retardation, the dumb gay shit in it. But guess what? Disney is going to put it in there. Even if the Japanese version, because this is this is the unique thing like I mentioned previously with, with anime. Most people that watch anime in America watch the subtitles. Most people don't know what is being said in in Japanese, which is why we have subtitles. Because if you could if you can listen and understand Japanese, you're not gonna have subtitles on. So what they can do is they can make the anime and it could say something in Japanese, completely normal, no issues whatsoever, but then when it comes over to America. The woke gay bitch fucking localizers can have the subtitles say whatever the fuck they want. As woke and as gay as retarded as they want. That is why this shit's dangerous. And you know they're going to do it. I mentioned the semen thing with bleach. Small, small, small little thing. But it's an example of what's going to happen. So... I'll have the full article in the description if you want to go over everything this guy said. But this is this is not good. I knew I know for a fact what's going to happen, and mark my fucking words on this, is Disney is going to start throwing so much fucking money at anime and taking up as much as possible. Because they know they're making no money with, with all of their shitty fucking movies. They're making no money with the, the, the superhero movies, the MCU. They're making no money with their shitty live action movies. All they have left is going for anime. They're going to buy it, take it, like they just said, influence it. And they're going to essentially damage the anime industry, which is what no one wants. It's one of the last bastions we have. And Japan is going to outright tell them to fuck off. But unless you can at least read and understand Japanese, you're not going to be able to actually have the proper the proper subtitles. You have to rely on localized uh, subtitles from people who hate you. So, anyway, tell me what you guys think. Um, I'm, I'm hoping they don't give their hands on as much as they are probably hoping to. I know they're going to go for a lot of shit. They have the money, at least as right now. But I'm hoping that Japan, at least a lot of these studios, knows the game they're playing and will actually tell them to fuck off. But I don't think it'll happen. But tell me what you guys think. I appreciate you guys for watching. Until next time, have a good one.